What's going on, Geminites? It's your boy, Gem Mint. Back at you with another Omnibus haul. We got three Marvel Omnibus, a Dark Horse Deluxe Edition, and a trade paperback, so you guys stay tuned. All right, guys, so I uh, recently watched uh, Umbrella Academy on Netflix like everybody else. I loved it. I started looking for the comics, and um, the Volume 1 trade paperback is sold out. Uh, but a, a reprint comes out, I think, next week. So I grabbed Volume 2 on IST. This collects... I don't know. But if you're not familiar with this, it's written by Gerard Wade, who is um, in the band My Chemical Romance. The show is dope. We should have did a review on it, but I don't know. We kind of just uh, dropped the ball on that. This has an $18 cover price. Uh, let's flip through and look at some of the artwork. I hear the comics are fairly different from the show. So uh, let's see what it looks like. <clears throat> I'm actually only working with one light, man. My other bulb went out, so we're going to have to make do. Here's the cover for Umbrella Academy. That looks like number five, I would think. Here goes the spine. Dark Horse uh, publishes this. Let's see here. Mm -hmm, okay. Okay. It looks a little BPRD-ish, no? Huh. I feel like that's Claws. I, don't, I haven't read these. I've only watched the show. Looks pretty interesting, though, man. All right, guys, next up, we have the last volume of BPRD, Hell on Earth. This is volume five, Mike Manola. Uh, I have started reading volume one of this. We actually, uh, Manimal and I recorded the Plague of Frogs review and the 1946 through 1948 review. So we're going to go ahead and read this and read Abe Sapien, and that'll probably conclude our little BPRD read-through. This has... Um, Devil You Know, Hell on Earth 12 through 13 and 15, $35 cover price. We'll take a look at it. Uh, looks like uh, similar art to the other volumes. I really have enjoyed reading these BPRD books. I like the supernatural vibe they have. I think that's pretty interesting. All right, so volume five of BPRD. Kind of seen one, you've seen them all. But it's nice to uh, complete the run. Same kind of black hardcover, like all the BPRD volumes, so at least they keep it consistent. It's not Mike Minola art, but I like the modern art that it looks like it. It goes Johan. That's dope. Elizabeth going full Phoenix. What's that? Is that the mummy? What's her name? All right, guys, next up we have the Savage Sword of Conan with the DM variant, uh, the direct market variant cover. This has a $125 cover price. It collects the magazine black and white style Conan stuff from the early Marvel years. Looks similar to the um, other Marvel Conan Omni. Kind of a same look on the hardcover. I was flipping through this already when I was stretching that spine out, and the black and white art looks good, man. I think um, I think it looks good. We'll flip through it together. It's not high on my reading list on what I want to read soon, but you know maybe we'll get to it someday. Conan, y'all. All right, man. These DM variants are going fast on IST, man. You kind of got to pre-order these things from now on, from like. DCBS or something, but here goes the front cover, which um, I like always like the classic covers. You guys know that. 
Here goes the spine. We do have all the magazine covers on the back. It's like uh, issues uh, 1 through 5 of Savage Tales and 1 through 12 of Savage Sword of Conan plus special number 1. Kind of already showed the cover here. And the spine. Blood spatter. That's cool. So let's see. Do they show the uh, covers with the full painted covers? Let me see. So they do have the full color covers. That's always nice. And then, like I said, the interiors are black and white. Oh, look at that. Uh, man thing. Wrestling the gator. I know a lot of people are going to be like, I can't get into the black and white stuff. But I mean, I read Walking Dead, you know, Akira. What else black and white do I read? Or have I read? Um, Berserk. I still gotta read that Berserk Deluxe Edition too. That's right. All right, guys, next up we have the um, Earth X Trilogy Omega Omnibus. This is the second volume that concludes the three stories from Earth X, Paradise X, Universe X. This one is Paradise and... Actually, this is just Paradise X, so I guess the first volume has Earth X and Universe X. So, um, $100 cover price. Alex Ross did all the covers on these, but uh, the interior art was someone else. But I like, you know, on the front you can see, like... Uh, Days of Future Past Wolverine, which we call, I guess, now Old Man Logan. Uh, got some Deathlock on the front there. Something looks up with, like, Captain America. I actually got this in last week, but um, I think it was the only book I got in, so I didn't do a haul video for it. I do plan on reading these uh, soon. They're higher up on my list on stuff I want to knock out. You know, here it's not like the best read ever, but I've always been interested ever since uh, I was I used to see the covers. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, very cool cover by Alex Rosso with the X, and then you got all the characters. I really love how he did uh, Old Man Wolverine here, Old Man Logan, Iron Man. I think it's Vance Astro, actually. I was flipping through. There goes the spine. I did take some pictures on my Instagram with the other with the Alpha book to kind of show them how they are how they're paired up. <clears throat> so I didn't really mention specifically, but Paradise X Heralds one through three, Paradise X zero through twelve, Zen Devils A X and Special Edition Paradise X Ragnarok one and two, Nighthawk one through three. And that's everything that's collected with that $100 cover price. So, a little Alex Ross sketch wraparound cover. That's always cool. Looking like Kratos. Spider-Woman, that's, that's dope, man, for real. That's cool. That's the cover of Harold's One. Too bad he didn't do the interiors. It was like a vampire storm. So I guess it's like an alternate future type of book. Again, I haven't read it yet, but that's what I've pieced together. Wow, two. How do you say his name? Wow, two.
Looks cool to me. Wizard special. Remember Wizard? All right, the last one is the Avengers Silver Age Omnibus Volume 4 with that DM old school cover. Um, pretty cool. These are like uh, the kind of books that got me into collecting Omnibus. Like um, having all these old issues that used to try to hunt down, but you have them all collected in this nice format. It's Avengers 89 through 119. It even throws in Daredevil 99 and Defenders 8 through 11. So, cool. Like, they still keep this old school format for these type of Omnis with this kind of black and red look. You get um, the Silver Age stuff reprinted in this crisp, clean format, man. Can't beat it. Roy Thomas. What, Steve Englehart, Neil Adams, John Buscema. No, Sal Buscema, Bob Brown. So, classic material here, man. Let's take a look. All right, the last one up, this Avengers Volume 4. I don't know why I think it's cool to have Silver Age Marvel Omnibus, but I always give the DC ones a hard time. I don't know, bias, I guess. Get all the covers on the back. I already kind of showed you guys the uh, hardcover. I think this was the cover for the regular one, which is what, the... Uh, I don't know, is it Art Adams? I don't remember. Vision. Well, Neil Adams did the DM variant, I think, right? Some Captain Marvel, Marvel. Ant-Man action. Another book that's not really high on my reading list to get into, but it's there in the archives. Got some scrolls, vision. Hercules. <laughs> we were talking about that in the live show yesterday. How he's supposed to be introduced in the Eternals movie. And I was never a fan of that character. Like, it worked with Thor... But it's not working with Hercules. That's cool. Swordsman. I went to a con one time when I was first getting back into comics. And this guy was trying to sell me on Swordsman on like a spec book. Oh, come on, man. Anybody checking on Swordsman? Increase scroll war. Yes, yeah, so I guess this collects the Kree scroll war. I didn't even know. Yeah, Art Adams did do the regular one. All right, guys, so that's the haul for today. I have some books on the way. I think I have um, the Thanos War Omnibus coming in, the uh, Batgirl Bronze Age Volume 2. I feel like there was another book as well. But, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think about the haul here, if you picked any of these up. Right now, like I said, I'm reading um, BPRD, Hell on Earth, Volume 1. And I want to start reading the Conan, uh, the, the Colossal Conan Dark Horse books. I want to read those three books and do reviews on them. Man, I'm trying to do this, uh, film this after we did our live show last night, man. <laughs> I had way too many drinks. But um, thanks for checking out the video. Uh, drop me a comment below. And make sure to subscribe to the channel for more daily content. Stay minty. Peace.